Yeah, buddy just reminded me we talked about having a cage match and we never did that. Thanks every, there's still time. <laughs> well, thanks everybody, everybody for being here. Um, I'd also like to thank my opponents in the primary, Bob Thomas and Brad Anders for running great races and clean races. I'd like to thank my family, especially my wife, Crystal, who is right there. Um, Bring her up here. Come on up, yeah. She, she keeps on going, I'm gonna leave, but come on up. This is gonna embarrass her, but it's great. Huh. Yeah, are, are, the kids, are the kids up in the room? The kids are downstairs. Thanks. Blame it on Buddy. He's always getting me in trouble. I'd also, I'd also like to thank my Democratic opponent, Linda Haney. Uh, we all know that a Democrat is going to have a struggle in a county-wide race in Knox County, but she did step up to the plate and she put forth a good effort. And I think that is admirable. Democracy works when everyone has a voice and we can hear everyone's ideas. So thank her for running. That doesn't mean that I agree with Democrat ideas by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, tonight we can celebrate, but going forward, all of us have to work together because we have some very important races that we must win. We will have a congressional race that is contested. We will have a governor's race that will be hotly contested. And we have a Senate race which will be hotly contested. As Republicans, we have to work even harder to ensure that the Democrats never get control of Tennessee or the federal seats in Tennessee. And I promise that I will lead the charge to support our candidates and to ensure that they win in November. You know, throughout my race, I heard a lot of talk about the Republican supermajority in the state of Tennessee and the fact that the blue wave, which the media keeps talking about, was going to crash into the big red wall in Tennessee. It will this year. Probably will in the next election cycle and it probably will the following. But if you look at the demographics, they're not really on our side. What happens if that big red wall is ever breached? If it is, our state and our country will fundamentally change and we can never, ever let that happen. The Republican Party must remain a bulwark against European democratic socialism, which unfortunately the Democratic Party has become. In order to do that, we have to grow our party. And we have to grow it among young people and among minorities. We have to become more inclusive. But what I mean by that is we do not abandon our ideas we need to stand even more firm. The Republican Party stands for individual liberty, free markets. It's the party of growth. It's the party of economic opportunity. Those are things that benefit everyone. That's how we need to grow this party, is by ensuring that those are the ideas that we are spreading. Someone like me, I think, is uniquely positioned to help in that respect. One of my goals as Knox County Mayor is to work with the State Republican Party and to grow our party across the state of Tennessee, especially among people who traditionally were not considered Republicans. And if we do that, that big red wall will stand firm forever. Thank you all so much. And now let's have a good time.